So gaming, if there were top five reasons to not get a Chromebook, the gaming experience would have been one of them. Now, I personally do not agree with that statement, but it's out there, so I have to acknowledge it. Now, cloud gaming is the future, I believe, and it's here already. But Chromebooks have been kind of criticized that all you can do on them is cloud game and nothing else. And today I'm talking to you about the exciting news that Steam is now available on Chromebooks. Now that's right. What that means is you can play your favorite PC games on your Chromebook locally without any compatibility issues or any lag. Sort of. And not really because there are actually a lot of compatibility issues. But let's get into it. So Steam or Chromebooks have been available for probably over a year at this point. But in order to get that working, you had to enable a lot of Chrome flags, you know, to get it working on your Chromebook. And that Chromebook had to meet a certain minimum threshold. Um, so that's why, despite my challenges, uh, I couldn't get it to run on my Chromebooks because, you know, none of them fit the minimum requirements. Um, but now we have a new set of minimums that I will get to in a moment. But I had to wait until I got the Dragonfly Pro in order to put Steam on my Chromebook. Now, uh, to be fair, um, you don't need this laptop in order to run it. Um, I think if you recall the, uh, the, when the Chromebook Plus models, I believe all of those should be able to run Steam. And like I said in that video, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video. Um, in that video, if uh, your Chromebook is not labeled Chromebook Plus, but it meets requirements, it does become Chromebook Plus and therefore can should be able to run Steam. The DraftFire Pro is not listed as a Chromebook Plus device, met the requirements, therefore it got the, uh, the update to Chrome OS Plus. But throughout this video, you might have been wondering, what is Steam? Well, Steam is a a gaming distribution platform, one of the largest, if not the largest, in the world. Uh, very popular, especially if you are into PC gaming. And even if you do cloud gaming on GFN, you can buy games on Steam and play them in the cloud. Okay, as far as the requirements to run Steam on your Chromebook, this is going to sound very reminiscent of the same minimal requirements to run Chromebook Plus. Well, here they are. They are the, you need an Intel, a 12th gen Intel processor, I believe before you need 11th gen. So that process could still exist for you have 11th gen, but what's listed on Google's uh, website is uh, I believe 12th gen. So 12th gen Core i3, Ryzen 3 CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. So all Chromebook Plus models, but this can also include non-Chromebook Plus models since it doesn't have as many requirements. Now, like I said before, it was a cumbersome process beforehand, which I was already willing to do for the sake of this project. Uh, but to my surprise, it was very easy to install. You just go to your Chromebook, hit the everywhere button, just start typing in Steam uh, and it should come up as Steam installer. Just click that and let it do its work. It takes a little bit of time for it to get run initially and you boot, boot up, it's not the fastest. Um, so certainly console's faster, but once Steam installer is ready, finished, uh, you have Steam on your Chromebook. Now I have heard that you need to run, I also have the Linux uh, portion available. I already had that available, so I didn't have no issues, but just to let you know, if it doesn't install correctly, it may prompt you to turn on your Linux uh, space. Now, as far as what games can you play, I'm going to make it a little easier for you. Google has included a list on their website that lists games that run on the minimum specs Chromebooks, that run well on the minimum specs Chromebooks, uh, according to them, and I found some games there that I enjoy. Um, now, remember, it's the minimum, so if you have a higher spec Chromebook than a Core i3, for example, 
you might find some games that work on your Chromebook just are fine. But those are the games that were where to begin. Those are the games that I believe you should try because you don't want to trust me. You don't want to buy a game and then find out you can't even run it. Now, as far as what games that I've been playing on my Chromebook, uh, I'll go over two. Now, in a lot of these type of videos, the games of choice were either Doom or Half-Life. Neither one of those are kind of my jam. Uh, they should run well on my Chromebook, but again, I didn't even download them. I went to saw that were they compatible, said they were compatible, I just kept it pushing. But as far as the games that I do play um, semi-regularly, uh, one is going to be Combat Master, but I have put some time in Combat Master, which is this really fast-paced shooter game, and it's run natively on my Chromebook. Uh, now, I have need an internet connection only because I'm playing multiplayer with different people. You can play on teams. You can uh, do it solo, uh, but it is a really good game. Surprise, this works this well. Now, it's a good game. It works well does not mean that i am necessarily good at it okay. now another game that surprised me that held my interest for so long is called mirror's edge so i've never heard of this before i saw it on google's website but apparently i've been missing out it's a game that i set to live in the future it's first person and it's a game that utilizes parkour i didn't even know that was a thing yes you're jumping around the city on rooftops fighting or avoiding uh, enemies. It's fun and the story is getting really good. So I've tried a number of games that were not on Google's list with varying results. And this is where compatibility comes back into play. Because what's running on these Chromebooks is SteamOS. SteamOS, which is a Linux-based operating system. And not all games are suited to run Linux. Look at that Destiny 2. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Now, tell me what you guys think. Does this change your view of Chromebooks at all? Are you going to try it? Or have you been trying it already? Now, remember, if you like this kind of content, consider liking the video, sharing it, subscribe. Come on back for more. And I'll see you next time. God bless.